I'm going to turn the panel over to Councilman McDonald. First of all, what a great city, state, and country we live in. We can come together and disagree in a civil manner and come away with different points of view. I had the opportunity to talk with Randy Woodbury a couple months ago and asked him what his long-term exit plan was. Often that's discussed in real estate. When are you going to exit this plan? He said, my long-term exit is death. And I, uh, I appreciate that and hope that's not an immediate exit, Randy. I hope that's a long-term plan for you, not a short-term. I would agree that there are several projects that the city got involved with that with the advantage of hindsight and maybe even up front, we should have known, we shouldn't have put up money first and hoped for results. We don't do this here. This is not a tax increase. We continue to get 100% of the current amount we're given and a percentage of the increase. The city takes no risk for the cost of the improvements that are needed right now. The infrastructure is needed, that's been discussed. The Woodbury takes that risk. I'm fearful that some here don't understand a win-win philosophy or understand the math of this deal. For me, we save money by not putting in the infrastructure. So that, that widow, that person living on a, on a limited income is protected by us not needing to upfront almost $10 million in infrastructure costs that we need to do. Some fear that if it's good for someone else, it must be bad for me. If this is, if this, this is not the case, this is development work that is done. If this development work is not done, is done, the taxes for the city will increase, not decrease. If it isn't done, the taxes won't increase as much as they could, and in fact will decrease in the short term, and will lose significant upside. What we're doing has been well stated, is sharing part of the increase for the next 20 years with the Woodbury Group putting up all the capital and risk and keeping the vast majority of the upside for the long term for the city and getting a much improved facility in our process. Some of you may know that I'm a partner in an ownership group that holds the former Word Perfect Development as our major asset. We are perhaps the second largest landowner in the city and the second largest landlord. The city granted the original owners and development of that project of the most successful REA in the city's history that was shown earlier. When we purchased it from the Nobel Corporation, the REA benefit was gone and we needed to turn it around and lease it up without any help from the city or state and frack why other cities were pirating some of our best clients. As a city council member and as a landlord, I'm in favor of this deal, which may be seen as competitive, because I don't want to put up a sign at the front of our city that ORM is closed for business and please go down the road to other cities that are open for business. The anticipated return on investment on this deal is huge. The city won't get another chance like this in the near future. My father-in-law was mayor of this city when the mall came, and I believe we should do what we can to keep it here and keep it vibrant. Thank you.